Empty Mike, CrazyMikeSapps.com with an iPhone app demo for Hang and Go by Silphy Labs. This game features a freaky and resourceful green blob who stretches, swings, swims, and sticks to things through the 17 challenging levels and six dynamic worlds of unique gravity and physics gameplay. Jump into the tutorial. We're going to check out Basis, which is the very first tutorial level. It's kind of a blueprint type environment. We got to get our guy. We use our finger by one finger tapping on the pipe to move him. Two fingers, one on the screen and one on the pipe where you want to go will give you two tentacles. Let go of both fingers and sling your little green guy, in this case blueprint guy, through the pipes and to the end. You'll know when you get to the end because it'll be over. Now we're going to go into the first level that I played, which is the flush. All right, you can see the environment is very sewer-like. Again, the slingshot is going to be the fastest way to get around, but you will have to be careful. There are items that will kill your little dude. Use your walking technique, again, by using one finger holding the screen and the other to keep the two tentacles going. If you want to just use one tentacle, you just tap with one finger to get around. Once you do have two tentacles, let off your fingers, pull back, and sling your little green guy. And you'll have to get used to it because sometimes you'll let off and you can adjust the power. You can also sling him up and grab hold of the pipes, like so. Be sure to get all of the cylinders, or the little spheres I should say. They give you points and there are secret areas. When you get there, you'll see a bunch of spheres populate around you and you want to grab those because some are worth more points than others. Keep on going and there are some secret areas in here that you will be able to find. There are six of them. They will increase your score is what I'm told. Get to that little green area there and the level's complete. Now we're going underwater. Our little guy can swim. He uses his tentacle as a rudder and as a kind of a propeller rudder. So you're going to go through the area here, follow the arrows, get the spheres that give you points. Those blue and green ones give you 50 points. The darker colored will give you more points. There's an area where those points populate in the spheres. Keep on following the arrow and be careful for things like the shell. I don't think the shell will take your little guy out, but there are other things that will and you'll have to figure out what those are. We can't go through there, so we're going to have to come back. Now that little noise is a checkpoint. Whenever you see that little silver thing and you click on it, you need the checkpoint. And you need the checkpoint when you die like that, which means you can't touch those sharp spear-like objects that are kind of like the gates letting you in and out. Use your little guy and navigate those sharp objects because if you touch them at all, you're dead. There's a maroon or a dark colored spear that gives you a bunch of points. Again, watch out very closely and carefully navigate your way to the lever and this is the way this goes now this is a very large level I'm not even gonna complete it because it takes a while they boast over three hours of solid gameplay I think it's a little bit more than that for sure navigate your way through here at just the right time and we're gonna go back up and see if we can't make it all the way through the area that was cordoned off you can stick on the cement underwater even. Your little guy is talented. There's the checkpoint again, and that's key because after you make it to a certain area, if you don't use that checkpoint and you die, you'll have to go back to the re previous checkpoint and you can restart levels over as well. Watch out for those sharp objects. Now we're going into a different environment again. This is Pendulum, and this is a very mm, upside down environment, I'll have to say. When you see those arrows, that means it's gravity and you can turn your device upside down. So my iPhone's upside down and my little guy is, well, you can see he's upside down. Those arrows are helping me back and you got to be careful because if you don't navigate gravity correctly, you will die. There's a secret area with the different spheres. You want to grab those. Ah, and be careful not to fall off the ledge. Now this last area, this is the last level very difficult. You're going to have to use your noodle to figure this level out and your accelerometer to get your little green guy to swing side to side. If you touch anything on the bottom or any of the top base, you're dead and you will perish. So you have to be careful and hang on to those rings for your life. Get a little bit of momentum. Yes, I want that ring. Get a little bit of momentum by 
you're turning the iPhone side to side and you're gonna have to go for a leap of tentacle and grab the ring. Watch out not to touch the bottom again. The skulls are a clear indication that you will die. You have to get past this, but you can stick to that. It won't kill you. There's the bone wheel there that will be your friend and some more metal to attach to. And don't be afraid to slingshot yourself in this level. It is a gamble to say the least. Once you get there again, this is the way you're gonna go through this level, but don't think it's gonna be a quick level. None of these levels as you go on are, they get much longer as you go. Now, oh, if you fall off, you fall off. Once you're back at the home screen, this is the help screen. You have preferences as well. Reset game data, in-game help, music, and audio effects. And then we can check out the about, and these are the people responsible for the app. That's it for this iPhone app demo. Until next time, see ya.